In this example, I'll show how to use Axie memory mapped IP from Pink. The Pink MMIO class provides read and write functions to allow us to access memory mapped registers. The example design I'm using has three Axie IP an Axie BRAM, an Axie GPIO controller, and an Axie timer. The Axie GPIO is connected to external pins and the PMOD interface on the CREA Vision Kit. This is similar to the previous example, but instead of accessing PS wires, we are now controlling the interface with a memory mapped AXI controller. The first step is to download this overlay, again using the pink overlay class to do that. The next step might be to run help on this overlay. From here, I can see the three AXI IP. Note the AXI GPIO has been recognized and assigned an AXI GPIO instance type by pink. The corresponding driver and API will be available, and we'll look at this in the next example. The Axie BRAM and Timer have been assigned the default IP type. This means that no specific driver has been loaded for these IP, but by default, Pink will create an MMIO object for all default IP in the design. This will allow us to do MMIO reads and writes, as we'll see in this example. We will focus on the BRAM. In this example. First we will do a simple register read and a register write. We can start by checking the help. We can start by checking the help for the read and write methods. We can see that the read we will pass an offset. This will be the address to read offset from the base address for this IP. The address space is 32-bit aligned, so we will need to make sure that we read in multiples of 4 bytes. We can check the help for the write in a similar way. And we can see that in addition to the offset, we will pass a value, and this will be the value written to the address. Let's go ahead and do an AXI read to our BRAM. We'll read location 0. We can see that the value returned is zero, and that makes sense. The BRAM is uninitialized when the overlay is downloaded. Let's try and do an AXI write to the same address in BRAM. So location zero, and let's write the value F in hex. Let's check or read back that value and verify it was written correctly. We can see the value 15 returned, and for completeness, let's show that value in hex. We can do multiple read and writes from Python. If we want to transfer more data to our AXI peripheral, it would be more efficient to write this as an array. The pink MMIO object has an underlying NumPy array object that we can access directly for more efficient transfers. Let's go ahead and create an alias to this array object. I can now write an array to my BRAM. I'll take my object and choose the range I want to write to. In Python, this is the first eight addresses. Let me write eight values. Similarly, I can read back the same range from BRAM and verify the data that I've just written. To give you some more confidence that I am reading back the same locations from the PL, and that there isn't some trickery happening here, I'll extend that and you can see the uninitialized values at the end of this range. That concludes this example. I showed how to use the pink MMIO read and write methods to access memory mapped IP. We saw how this MMIO class is instantiated for default IP, and the MMIO class can be used to read and write arrays for more efficient data transfer.